Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to get on the timing and the setup of the AT1 uh, pointless ignition. So let's just delve right into it. Got it pretty much complete. It uh, Everything is as the way I want it here. We've got all the wiring. I've, I've got just uh, my test light up here. And we're going to go ahead and turn the power on. And we're going to check when it fires and when the light comes on in relation to the magnet and the sensor on both sides. And then we'll go through timing. Uh, I've got it pretty close, so I, I probably won't be changing it any, uh, but I'll just go through the procedure to check it. Okay, we're going to power on. And I'm now going to bring, I'm going to be going in the direction of engine travel. I'm going to bring the, the magnet is right here. I'm going to bring it over to the sensor. Okay. Spark plug right here. There it is. And again, our magnet just coming into the sensor here, the left side. Okay, I'm going to go on around and we're going to check the other side. There's the right side plug and of course the light. Uh, I'll be moving it back here to the other one. Coming on around. There it is. Same time. And it's just coming in. The magnet right there, just coming into the sensor on the right side. Okay. We've, we've, Beat that horse to death. Okay, got the dial indicator in here. This particular one, uh, engine fires at 1.8 millimeter before top dead center. And again, I'm gonna turn in the direction of engine travel and we're gonna go to top dead center. Okay, that's it right there. Now I'm going to go the other way. There's one. And there's one eight right there. Now, I've gone on past. Now, I'm going back in the direction of travel. And also keep an eye on the light right here. Okay, I'm actually just a little past it, about four, I guess, something like that. And that's when the light comes on, that's when I fire, and that's this side. So that's the left side. So we set this up over here uh, and adjust it. I adjusted the uh, actually, I just a little bit here, but I mostly just did this one. Now, on the right side, we're going to have to, any adjustment will have to be done here because you want it really close. So, let me get set up for the right side. Okay, again, we're going to go to top dead center. I'm going in the direction of engine travel. And I'm zeroed out. 
I'm going to go back the other way. There's one. And there's eight. Go a little past it. Now we're coming back. Keep an eye on the light. Right there. That's exactly on there. So we're right at one eight. Uh, the left side is a little bit off, but not overly so. Okay. Now. Now since I've got the uh, the backing plate where I want it and what I needed to do was adjust only this one. So I, I loosened these two screws and moved it just ever so much until this one is the same as this one essentially. This side is a little off but not bad. I, I don't know whether we could get any closer, to tell you the truth. But anyhow, that's how you do your final adjustment. You get it to where you want it, then you bring the other one in, and then if you have any timing, if you need to advance or to uh, retard the timing, now you're just going to operate the backing plate. You won't, dis you won't loosen these and move anything there because they're in time with one another. Okay, now we're going to hook up the timing light. I'm not sure how good you'll be able to see it, but...
going to check to see what our see if we're charging. see any issue there and another thing I want to do here and I've already done it but I just want to take you around there and show you is uh, the oil pump settle down quite a bit. Another look at it.
still looks like we're all there. We just got, uh, got our chain guard, which we need to do a little repair on right here. Uh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, a little repair down here. And the, uh, the rack that is, these, from what I understand, are very hard to come by. And uh, so it's going to need a re-chroming and probably eventually get to the re-chroming on the uh, uh, pipes also and maybe a few other little nit noy things. We got the cover on. smoke is pretty well cleared up. Pretty happy with it. Sounds real good. Okay guys, there you have it. I think we're pretty close to being done with this one. Uh, there's still things to do. Uh, we've got to deal with the tank yet and some other things, but as far as the ignition conversion, uh, we know the oil pump's working. We know it's charging. So I think for the most part, we're probably going to put this one up for a while and we'll uh, pursue it when it comes uh, summertime we'll, so we can get out and ride it a little bit. But uh, for right now, I think it's a success and uh, I, I just don't know where we're going to go on this one next unless we find a tank or something. But, uh, hmm, what was I going to say? Oh. You know, it's clearing out now that the uh, that we've changed over to straight gas, and it uh, I think it's most of that smoke is settling down. There's still going to be a little bit in the pipe. It's going to take getting out on the road and getting it hot and getting it burned out. But all in all, it looks like it's uh, it's kind of all that smoke is starting to settle down, and I think it's really running nice. It uh, used to. It would pop on this cylinder over here, and it's not doing that anymore. So I, I think everything is really, this here has really helped a lot as far as the running. But <clears throat> to be fair, we probably could have, if we went in and cleaned the points and adjusted the points, put new condensers in, we probably could have been just about the same. But this is, uh, this is a neat conversion, and I, I, I've got, some more of these that I'm probably going to do eventually. So uh, just stay tuned for that. Hey, thanks for going along on the ride, and we'll see you next video.